Good morning, y'all. Half Mile Sniper here, and uh, we're not on the range today. We were going to be on the range yesterday, except, well, my truck chunked the alternator once again, apparently. I was uh, on my way to the range, coming down this road, a little bit behind me, closer to the house, when uh, all of a sudden I realized, wow, it's really dark on the dash. But that's a story for later. So y'all sit back, kick your feet up, enjoy the ride. As I was saying, yeah, that'll be a story for later, but instead of going to the range and testing my copper bullets and testing some more 144 burgers and then doing a 400 yard group test, I ended up spending the morning working on the truck. Turned out the alternator I had just replaced needed to be replaced again and uh, possibly had a, one of the uh, batteries, right hand battery may have had an issue because well, even though I got it back up charged and got the truck running and drove it around a little bit, because of a little crud on the battery post, they said, we're gonna go get this one tested. And they said, oh, it's good. It just needs to be charged. And so well, it's been charged. So, they replaced the battery. The best part was, both the alternator and the battery were done as a warranty replacement, so I was zero dollars and zero cents, just time and effort. But, what we're doing this morning is the range my son and I were going to go to has a uh, PRS match today. Yeah, the uh, PRS rifle match. So, I want to go observe. I want to see what equipment I may be missing because I think I want to shoot a PRS match. The drive is through a nice canopy of uh, mountain oaks as we drop down into our river valley. We're maybe halfway to the range now. That's interesting. I don't know if y'all saw that. We got some interesting marine layer coming right up the San Luis Rey River Valley come from the coast. If we get around this next bend, you may see that. Oh yeah, see all that? That is marine layer. Cool. So the farthest targets are all the way up the hill over there at about 840 yards, I believe is what I heard. Interesting. Alrighty, y'all. Well, I didn't run any video while I was observing the match because, well, 
I didn't know any of these people. So I spent my time observing and watching. Yeah, I don't think the 6.5 PRC is going to be very good for this game. A 308 might be okay. I could do a creed more upper for my 308 gas gun. Or I just have to look into another gun. Lots of options out there. What was interesting was there was while this was a uh, little local match. There were several people from Texas here shooting. Uh, it sounds like they might be out here for work and brought a rifle with them. So, pretty cool. So I'm going to pay attention to driving for a minute. So, as I was saying, they had a uh, farthest targets at like 850 yards. 840 yards, something like that. And they've got quite an array of targets. Apparently there's over uh, 300 pieces of steel out there, which, <laughs> talking with a few of the uh, people, makes target ID a bit challenging. So, It'll be a, it'll be interesting if I get a rifle built and come down and shoot down here. But definitely a lot more movement involved than I than I thought. And uh, as somebody was, there was some several other people that were down there doing the same thing I was, checking it out to see if it's a game they want to play. And one guy was like, wow, this, this is definitely a uh, gear hog heaven. There was lots of gear. There was lots of, lots of equipment out there. The uh, big piece of equipment that I noticed right away that looks like it would be mandatory, at least on that range, knee pads. Lessen the impact on your knees when you're getting up and getting down and kneeling and the various kneeling positions off the uh, barricades they have. So, got some thinking to do. Looks like fun. I just need to get the right gun to uh, play competitively. So yeah, now I'd need to decide, well, if I build it or do another rifle, what do I do? 6.5 Creedmoor might be the easiest. One guy there from uh, Texas was shooting a 6BRAI. So it's the 6mm Benchrest Ackley Improved. A really bitty short case, about like that long, a big long bullet. Uh, there's some shooting a six dasher. There was some shooting a 20, <coughs> pardon me, 22 Creedmoor. Uh, there was some shooting a 308. There was some guy shooting something big. I don't know if it was an aught six or if it was a 270, but it was it was something big. De it definitely stood out from the crowd. The uh, six millimeters and the 22 Creedmoor. They really seem to have minimal, almost negligible recoil. So definitely something to consider on this game the uh, I don't think I can't say that because I did see one guy 
out of all the people I watched, I only saw one, maybe two people get all the rounds off without timing up. So all that movement really does uh, eat up time. So while uh, there's no guarantee that I'm going to do a, another rifle and actually go shoot this game, if I were to do that, What caliber should I go for? Throw a comment down below. Help me decide. And uh, we'll see what happens. It's uh, definitely another time sink to add to my life. Now they do have local matches once a month. So that's 12 matches a year. Just don't know what to do so this is just a little bit of a different video I didn't do any shooting I didn't show anybody else doing any shooting this was just my cruise down to a local PRS match to see if it's something I might want to do <sighs> hopefully y'all enjoyed the little trip with me to check that out I probably next if I go again I'll get some video of people shooting and continue on. But uh, with all that being said, that mall sniper reminding y'all, stay strapped or get clapped. Get a CCW if you need one. If you're in a constitutional carry state, get a CCW anyways. You may travel. Not everyone recognizes constitutional carry. I really appreciate y'all hanging with me. I'm a uh, about halfway home so we'll uh, get this uh, edited out edited up and upload it and hopefully y'all enjoy it so as always y'all stay safe keep shooting we'll catch you next time Send it. Hit.